So have you ever stored your shoes in a closet? Only when you went to get them out, you've got this mold. Okay, it's never nice to see mold issues. I can tell you that. Um, so how do you get rid of it and why is it there? Before I begin, word of caution, mold for some people can be dangerous, okay? Especially if you've got big allergies to it or a compromised immune system. You might have a harder time breathing properly because of it. I also have asthma. Now, whilst my reaction is mild, it could be worse. So if you're thinking of doing this and you have one of those, I would suggest get someone else to do it for you or bin your shoes. Sorry, hate to tell you, but it's just not worth it for your health. Now, let's go on to what causes this mould. Wet shoes being stored, that doesn't help. It encourages the mould growth. Um, air circulation, so I think this was the problem with these. They're in the bottom of a cupboard and there wasn't enough air circulating and it's starting to uh, grow on them. Wet, humid environments, they don't help. Uh, storing your shoes on top of one another. Not cleaning your shoes uh, before you actually, you know, store them away. All of these things create this mould growth. Um, mould can start to spread as well. So it'll start to spread from these boots and then move on to another pair. And before you know it, it's all over everything. So if you start to spot it, start to try and rectify it as soon as you can. And here's what I do. So my number one favourite technique is to use rubbing alcohol to deal with mold growth. And this is a technique that I discovered not on shoes, but because one of my favourite leather sofas started to develop mould in my old house um, because it was left in a hot, humid environment after we had some plastering done. So rubbing alcohol is a great way to get rid of mould from your shoes. All you need to do is get your shoes, brush off any of the dry mould growth that's there, and then mix a bowl of 50 50% rubbing alcohol and 50% water and either spray it on your shoes or use a white cloth dipped in the solution to kill the mold spores. Test an inconspicuous area first. And when you've finished removing the visible mold, get another clean cloth and wipe your shoes down with water and then allow them to air dry outside. So this is rubbing alcohol. And what I've done here, this is an old bottle. This contains 50% water and 50% of the alcohol. And we're going to test that now on these shoes. OK, so the first thing you would do is, as you can see, I've got a cloth here and I will start to wipe away some of that mold. You can see there's a little bit left. Spritz that on. And then I'm going to just do this. And the mold will just vanish away. It's taking off some of the shoe polish as well. Okay. So that is a perfect solution and my number one to do it. Now, what I would say is after they've dried out, after I've wet these with water and um, allowed them to dry out, um, I would recommend that you use a specialist shoe cleaner or leather conditioning cream. Uh, that's because uh, these can start to dry out from some of these things like rubbing alcohol and the other things that I'm going to use. The next product you can use, I'll bring that into frame, is the uh, distilled malt white vinegar. OK, same thing again. Vinegar is so useful for all kinds of products uh, with the vinegar. Same thing, 50 50 water and vinegar. And again, you dip in your cloth and you wipe it over the area with the mold. And again, you uh, once you've done that, wipe it over with water and then leave it outside. Now, of course, vinegar has a little bit of a smell, but that soon dissipates, okay? There are some other products that you can use. Uh, lemon juice, so again, I've got some lemon juice here. Lemon juice is a great product that you can sometimes use, and it's a universal sort of cleaning product around the house. Um, and all you need to do is mix the lemon juice with water again, spray it on the mold and it will kill it. Wipe the mold from your shoes. Same thing again, cool water over them just to get rid of it. And then Bob's your uncle dry outside and you should be fine. Um, you can also use tea tree oil. So just bear that in mind. Tea tree oil is a great antifungal product and you can use it to create a cleaning solution. You just need one or two teaspoons of the product to a small cup of water. Place the mixture in a spray bottle again, shake the bottle and spray it onto your shoes. You can use a soft toothbrush, by the way, to scrub any mould in any awkward places because you can see on these there's seams and stuff. So you might need a toothbrush just to get into every crevice. 
By the way, if you have mold inside your shoes or boots, I would again go back to the rubbing alcohol method, okay? And saturate it in the inside of your shoes with the mixture and then try and get a cloth, a wet damp cloth after it's done its work to try and remove any of the excess and then let it dry. Sometimes that is not gonna work depending on the type of shoes that you've got because obviously the internal side of your shoes is much harder to reach than the external. Uh, baking soda, I should also mention, can be used um, you just sprinkle it on it just sprinkle the baking soda outside leave it for half an hour to do its work and when the baking soda's killed the mold then you can vacuum it away and finally i should mention sunlight i know that a lot of people talk about using sunlight as a way of killing mold on leather shoes and boots however is it really that effective and sadly the answer is no it does kill the visible mold but it isn't going to remove the old mold and mildew from your shoes so think about it if you put something moldy outside in the uh, sunlight to kill the mold the mold on the surface will be killed but the stains will still be on your shoes and what about the recesses so if you have a mold problem on leather items use the methods that i've mentioned the lemon juice the vinegar the rubbing alcohol and you'll get a much better result